Hepatitis C is a global pandemic and a leading cause of liver disease, with an estimated 180 million people chronically infected worldwide. In Europe, it is estimated that 7.3 to 8.8 .8 million people have been infected by the Hepatitis C virus. Most European countries report a prevalence of HCV in the general population between 1.1 and 1.3 percent. In infected individuals, HCV produces an estimated 1 trillion new viral copies of itself every day. Understanding the life cycle of HCV replication is necessary to fully appreciate how HCV infection causes up to half of the cases of cirrhosis, liver failure and liver cancer in industrialized countries. In infected patients, the hepatitis C virus attaches to plasma lipid particles and together they travel through the bloodstream to the liver. In the body, HCV targets liver cells, hepatocytes. This is because hepatitis C viral particles have proteins on their surface that bind to receptors on the surface of liver cells such as the LDL receptor, CD81, scavenger receptor class B type 1, or SRB1, claudin 1, and occludin. When these receptors are engaged, the liver cell internalizes the virus. Inside the liver cell, HCV dissolves its outer coating, releasing genetic material into the cytoplasm of the liver cell. This genetic material is in the form of a single positive strand of RNA, a molecule that contains all of the necessary information for HCV to replicate itself. This viral RNA migrates to the endoplasmic reticulum, where proteins are made to support cellular life. There, the viral RNA interact with the ribosomes on the outer surface of the endoplasmic reticulum. These ribosomes then translate the genetic information to produce viral polyproteins over 3,000 amino acids long. These polyproteins are made up of three structural and seven non-structural proteins, a total of ten distinct viral proteins. Three structural proteins include the core protein plus envelope proteins E1 and E2. Two proteins that attach to liver cell receptors. All three structural proteins along with the first non-structural protein, the ion channel P7, are freed from the polyprotein chain by liver cell enzymes. The remaining six proteins are freed by viral proteases. NS2, a cysteine protease, interacts with NS3 a serine protease, to separate itself from the polyprotein. Then NS3 works with NS4A to separate itself from the polyprotein. Once released from the polyprotein, NS3 acts as a knife, cleaving each of the remaining four proteins from the polyprotein like slices of bread from a loaf. This leaves the separate proteins free to perform their specific roles. NS4B, working with NS5A, is primarily responsible for the formation of the site for HCV viral RNA replication. Pocket-like outcroppings of the endoplasmic reticulum call the membranous web. Each viral protein contributes to the replication of the viral genome, with NS5B, the viral RNA polymerase, playing the key role. NS3 and NS4A have helicase activity. During replication, a negative strand of RNA is produced from the positive stranded RNA. The two strands then combine to form a double-stranded intermediate. This intermediate is like a photocopier serving as the template for the production of thousands of copies of the viral genome. These viral RNAs are packaged into new viral particles and transported out of the cell to infect neighboring liver cells. This constant proliferation of HCV copies continues at an estimated daily rate of 1 trillion copies. HCV not only inhibits the body's antiviral defenses, it limits the infected cell's ability to self-destruct. Even in asymptomatic patients, millions upon millions of liver cells may be infected every day, triggering a chronic state of inflammation, one that progresses steadily in some 
and rapidly in others. Every day that the virus is unchecked, HCV lives up to its reputation as a silent.